Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the StreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're going to talk about in this video is the return of a private channel known as Channel Pair. If you want to add it, you're going to go to our website, click on the little search there, and look for how to add Channel Pair. We've put together a simple guide that you can follow. You'll see here, here's the guide, and as you scroll down, there are simple instructions to follow. And so, what you want to do first is go to your Roku account. You want to go to Roku.com, which we provide a link to, and you want to make sure that you're signed into your Roku account. That's going to be up here in the right-hand corner, and you see it says, Hi, Ryan. So... I am signed in because I am Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Haha, <laughs> okay. So, from here, you're going to click on the second step, which is going to allow you to add a private channel. Channel Pair is not in the Roku Channel Store, and it comes with a little caveat, and that's that Roku might pull it. So, before you add it, just keep in mind that if Roku decides that this is inappropriate content of any sort it could disappear as it has before so did want to note that just in case you see this video and say hey i tried but we click ok and add the channel so now what it has done is add the channel pair channel to our roku so we're going to go to a roku and we're going to update it so to update it you go down to settings here and you go over to the part that says system and from system you're going to update the roku itself the updates towards the bottom one more up okay there we are and we're going to click system update and check now and it doesn't really matter whether it's updating or not doing a system update will add new channels to the Roku if it hasn't already recognized them. And there it is, channel pair. You're going to click on the channel pair app and you notice it has instructions and a code. So what you're going to do is go back to your computer or your wireless device and we're going to start clicking on the guide again there we are and so we're going to go to the next step which is to go to the channel pair library page from here there is a drop down menu under pair and we're going to go to Roku and from here we're going to use that code that was provided on the channel pair page or on the channel pair channel it should still be on your TV screen. You're going to type it in and click on Pair. Now this pairs it with your Roku that you had signed into as far as your account. And we're going to go back to the Roku and just show you that the, the channel will update. And as we don't have anything in our library, once it updates you're not really going to see anything. But... It's important to know that it actually does something here. So we're going to show you that. It's successfully paired. And continue. If you have a library, it will update it. If you want to add things, you can add your MP3, I'm sorry, your M3U lists and other sources. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please subscribe. And as always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor.